Hello, my name is Andy. I'm with Simplex. Today we're going to be talking about replacing our DirectLogic 06 PLC out of our load banks and fuel systems. Some tools we'll need are just a Phillips screwdriver and a flat screwdriver. We're going to start removing all power. Once the power is removed, we're going to fold these covers open. Now, each side of the thermal strip you'll see some black Phillips screwdrivers here and here. I started removing that. Now I like to unscrew it about halfway on each side first to ensure we get a nice even removal of the terminal block. And then I'll just pull out. We'll do the same for the top. I'm just going to fold these away for now. Next, if you're using any of our communication modules or analog modules, I'm just going to unplug those. Here's our Ethernet. This is an analog 0 to 40 uh, mini a milliamp. Next is an analog input for uh, it's like 0 to 24 volts. With everything unplugged, we're going to go underneath. There's two clips for mounting into the DIN rail. We're just going to pull these clips down. They're not spring clips, so once you fold them down, they're down. Next, we're going to tilt and push up. And there we are. DLC is removed from the DIN rail. Alright, once we have a replacement PLC, we're ready to install it back into our load bank or fuel system. Now at an angle, you're going to go right above the DIN rail, slide it down, it'll catch, just like that. Take your flat screwdriver again and pop the clips back up. See that PLC is locked onto the DIN rail now. We're going to fold back our uh, analog uh, input modules. Here and here. Our Ethernet wire can plug back in. Our terminal blocks will fold back. Push them on. Once you get them pushed on, grab your Phillips, tighten them down. About halfway on each side. And then all the way. I don't need to be that tight. This can be nice, firmly pressed in. Do the same with the bottom. Ready to turn the power back on? There we go. All right, let's take a look at our Ethernet module. First of all, before we're moving it, we're going to remove all power, remove the Ethernet cable, turn the tabs out, and pull the card out. Pull it out nice and straight. Once you have a replacement, we're going to remove it from the box. We're going to verify that dip switch 7 is on and the rest of the dip switches are off. Next, we're going to push it into the PLC nice and straight. Just like that. Turn your tabs in. Reconnect your Ethernet cable. And turn the power back on. We're good to go.